Can we trust the authenticity of the Shroud of Turin? This question has intrigued scholars, scientists, and the curious for centuries. Today, we delve into the journey of this enigmatic relic. From the initial acceptance of the 1988 carbon-14 test to their recent debunking. Rewind to the late 80s. Three esteemed labs in Oxford, Zurich and Arizona carried out carbon-14 tests on the shroud. The results? A dating of the shroud to the medieval period. This conclusion was accepted without question, despite numerous other lines of evidence affirming the shroud's authenticity. Fast forward to the turn of the millennium. Joseph G. Marino and M. Sue Benford, after meticulous research with textile experts, discovered something crucial. The carbon-14 tests were conducted on a corner of the cloth that had undergone expert reweaving in the 1500s to repair damage to the shroud. This revelation, backed by substantial historical and photographic evidence, cast major doubts on the 1988 carbon-14 tests. But the plot thickens. In 2004, Raymond Rogers, the lead chemist of the Shroud of Turin research project, confirmed Marino and Benford's findings through chemical analysis. In his paper, Studies on the Radiocarbon Sample from the Shroud of Turin, Rogers stated that the radiocarbon sample was not part of the original cloth, rendering the 1988 radiocarbon date invalid for determining the true age of the shroud. In addition to Rogers' results, another study challenged the 1988 tests. After gaining access to the raw data from the University of Oxford, a research team announced that the 1988 study was flawed. Why? Because it did not involve studying the entire shroud, just some edge pieces. The 1988 tests broke the experimental protocol for testing ancient linen by taking samples from several different locations. They took just one sample from one area of the cloth, an area that had been subject to expert reweaving. But the Shroud of Turin story doesn't end here. More recent dating tests have placed the Shroud's age around 2,000 years. A 2013 study used infrared light and spectroscopy to analyze the Shroud's fibers, dating it between 300 BC and 400 AD. As well, in 2022, Dr. DeCaro employed a method known as wide-angle X-ray scattering to measure the natural aging of flax cellulose and found the Shroud best matched a piece of fabric from 55 to 74 AD. So what have we discovered? The 1988 carbon-14 tests were conducted on a reweaved portion of the shroud, invalidating the results. Subsequent research, including chemical analysis and different dating methods, date the shroud of Turin to around 2,000 years old. Thus, with the 1988 tests debunked and a wealth of evidence indicating its much older origin, many other lines of evidence come back into play and strongly indicate that the shroud of Turin is indeed authentic. Lines of evidence such as the fact that the blood on the shroud is authentic. The fact that the image on the shroud is not a painting. The fact that the pollen on the shroud is found exclusively in the Jerusalem area. The fact that the wounds of the man on the shroud match the details of Jesus' crucifixion. The fact that the points of the face match those of the earliest portraits of Jesus. The fact that the identical position and type of blood on the face of the shroud matches that of the Sudarium of Oviedo and the fact that it took high-powered ultraviolet radiation to imitate the colouring of a single thread of the shroud. All in all, with the 1988 carbon dating debunked, the evidence for the shroud's authenticity becomes compelling.